And we yeah. continue to follow the latest developments in last week's earthquake uh, in Turkey and Syria. The death toll there has now surpassed 35,000. 35,000. Rescuers found more survivors, though, defying the odds on Sunday, including a young girl pulled from the rubble in the 150th hour since the massive quake rocked that region. Turkish officials are now assigning blame for the tragedy, and they have detained and issued arrest warrant for more than 100 people allegedly involved in shoddy and illegal construction methods. Shamim Chowdhury has more from southern Turkey. It's been almost a week since the devastating earthquake hit Turkey and northern Syria. And in that time, we have seen destruction and damage on an unfathomable scale. Already tens of thousands of people have lost their lives. And the UN is saying that it is likely that that number could double. Now, the rescue mission that started in the immediate aftermath of the earthquake uh, has shifted in the first 72 or so hours. The emphasis was on finding as many survivors as possible. Now the focus is on finding dead bodies. However, there are some what people are calling miracle stories of survivors uh, coming out alive 100, 100, 140 hours after the earthquake took place. However, these uh, instances are few and far between. Hope is rapidly being lost, but rescue teams are not giving up. They are working alongside rescue uh, teams from 135 uh, nations. In the meantime, 93,000 people have been displaced. They've been evacuated from their homes, and there is a scramble to house them and see to their medical needs and their safety. Also, they, the uh, Turkish authorities have uh, sent out 113 detention notes, uh, warrants in effect, arrest warrants, uh, for those who they suspect have been complicit in the development of substandard buildings. Now, of those, we understand a dozen or so are in police custody. Now, in terms of the reconstruction, process. The UN is describing this as a catastrophe uh, unlike anything that the region has seen in the past 100 years or so. And certainly it's going to take an entire generation to get over the catastrophic effects of the earthquake. And that was Shamim Chowdhury reporting. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.